share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology. Acetylene is one of the most abundant neurotransmitters and most important neurotransmitters in the human body, often abbreviated as ACH. It is found in the all divisions of human nervous system that is central nervous system, CNS, somatic nervous system and in autonomic nervous system, ANS. In somatic nervous system, release of acetylcholine by motor neurons activate muscles contraction. Because acetylcholine plays an important role in muscle actions, drugs that influence this neurotransmitter can cause various degrees of movement disruption or even paralysis. In the autonomic system, acetylcholine controls a number of functions by acting on proganglionic neurons in the sympathetic division. In parasympathetic division both proganglionic and postganglionic neuron secrets acetylcholine. It is promoting contraction of smooth muscles, dilation of blood vessels, increases body secretions and decreases heart rate. In central nervous system, acetylcholine acts at various sites such as hippocampus, cerebral cortex and basal ganglia, where it can function as a neurotransmitter and as a neuromodulator. It plays a role in motivation, arousal, attention, learning, and memory. Cholinergic pathway deterioration in the CNS has been associated with the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Now we will discuss synthesis of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine synthesis is a rapid process capable of supporting a very high rate of transmitter release. The name acetylcholine is derived from its structure. It is a chemical compound made up of acetic acid and choline. Acetylcholine is synthesized in the neuronal cytoplasm from acetyl coenzyme A, and choline through the catalytic action of the enzyme choline acetyltransferase, CHAT. Acetyl coenzyme A is synthesized in mitochondria, which are present in large numbers in the nerve ending. Choline is transported from the extracellular fluid into the neuron terminal by a sodium-dependent membrane choline transporter, CHT. This symporter can be blocked by hemocholinium. Once synthesized, acetylcholine is transported from the cytoplasm into the vesicles by a vesicle-associated transporter, VAT, that is driven by proton efflux. This antiporter can be blocked by the research drug vesemicol. Acetylcholine synthesis is normally controlled by the rate of choline uptake and choline acetyltransferase activity. During hypoxia or hypoglycemia, acetylcholine synthesis can be rapidly inhibited by altered rates of acetyl coenzyme A supply. Storage of acetylcholine is accomplished by the packaging of quanta of acetylcholine molecules, usually 1,000 to 50,000 molecules in each vesicle. Vesicles are initially synthesized in the neuron cell body and carried to the terminal by axonal transport. Vesicles are provided with vesicle-associated membrane proteins, VAMPs, which serve to align them with release sites on the inner neuronal cell membrane and participate in triggering the release of transmitter. The release site on the inner surface of the nerve terminal membrane contains synaptosomal nerve-associated proteins, SNAPs, which interact with VAMPs. VAMPs and SNAPs are collectively called fusion proteins. Physiologic release of transmitter from the vesicles is dependent on extracellular calcium, and it occurs when an action potential reaches the terminal and triggers sufficient influx of calcium ions via N-type calcium channels. Calcium interacts with the VAMP on the vesicle membrane and triggers fusion of the vesicle membrane with the terminal membrane and opening of a pore results in release of acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. One depolarization of a somatic motor nerve may release several hundred quanta into the synaptic cleft. The acetylcholine vesicle release process is blocked by botulinum toxin through the enzymatic removal of two amino acids from one or more of the fusion proteins. After release from the presynaptic terminal, acetylcholine molecules may bind to and activate an acetylcholine receptor or cholinoceptor. That is muscarinic receptors MACHR, which are G-protein coupled receptors, or nicotinic receptors NACHR, which are ligand gated ion channels, to produce the characteristic response of the effector. Eventually, and usually very rapidly, all of the acetylcholine released diffuses within range of an acetylcholinesterase molecule. 
Bake very efficiently splits acetylcholine into choline and acetate, neither of which has significant transmitter effect, and thereby terminates the action of the transmitter. The choline formed by metabolism is recycled through the process of reuptake by the presynaptic neuron. This process is mediated by a membrane protein that transports choline into the neuron. Most cholinergic synapses are richly supplied with acetylcholinesterase. The half-life of acetylcholine molecules in the synapse is therefore very short. That is a fraction of a second. Acetylcholinesterase is also found in other tissues such as red blood cells. Other cholinesterases with a lower specificity for acetylcholine, including butyl cholinesterase or pseudocholinesterase are found in blood plasma, liver, and many other tissues. Acetylcholine can also activate presynaptic autoreceptors, which inhibits further release of the neurotransmitter from the neuron. Agent affecting cholinergic neurotransmission. Drugs affecting acetylcholine synthesis such as hemicholinium and storage such as vesemicol are used in pharmacology research but have no clinical use. Several biologic toxins affect the release of acetylcholine. Black widow spider venom containing alpha latrotoxin stimulates vesicular release of acetylcholine, producing excessive activation of acetylcholine receptors. A black widow spider bite may cause muscle contraction and pain, and abdominal muscles are often affected. Salivation, lacrimation, sweating, and changes in heart rate and blood pressure can occur but are uncommon, and death from black widow spider bite is rare. Botulinum toxin A, which is produced by Clostridium botulinum, blocks the exocytotic release of acetylcholine and inhibits neuromuscular transmission. Botulinum toxin is being used for a number of medical and cosmetic conditions. It is used to treat localized muscle spasms of the eyes, face, and hands, and it is employed in treating tremor, dystonia, excessive salivation, and other symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Injection of a preparation of this toxin known as Botox is used to reduce facial wrinkles for cosmetic purposes. Botulinum toxin has also been used to treat excessive sweating, hyperhidrosis of the palms and soles, and irrigation of the urinary bladder with botulinum toxin may provide long-lasting relief of bladder spasm. Share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.